I think everybody realizes the rent can go up. Well, of course, and they accept that. And uh, so... Uh, well, if you want it in the record, I think it'll have to be said this. You have to be slightly insane to do that. <laughs> and I think that was the testimony of uh, one of the witnesses there. Nobody that hasn't got an overwhelming desire for this form of lie. We'll, we'll do such a thing like that. Reasonable, prudent people don't mess around houseboats. You've got to be slightly nuts. <laughs> but that's okay. the kind of a that's the kind of a community we are, and I think we lend those. <laughs> well, yeah. You've got us all out there in one bunch, so you can watch us. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the situation. But we're sovereign nuts anyway. Yeah. So you I guess we'd have to way. put it that way. Yes. Yeah. But we okay. still go back to the protection of property, and after all, you have uh, all sorts of signs, you know, to keep me from walking against the red light because many of us don't even mind are not very prudent let me, people let me pose another question yes. here um, we won't plead guilty to being smart <laughs> you uh hey, let's say i own a houseboat mm -hmm. uh, and uh i buy it under today's conditions and uh, uh then this this ordinance is enacted which, if not guaranteeing me a place to stay, uh, guaranteeing my mortgage, uh, uh, at least increases the certainty of mortgage tremendously. Yes. Oh, yeah. And uh, then the value of my house goes up quite a bit, would it not? Wouldn't the uh, passage of such a mortgage, uh, let's say I'm one of these absentee, one third of them are owned by absentee, uh, owners. Well, uh, that might if be the case. If you pass the ordinance, uh, wouldn't it be quite a windfall gain to uh, everybody, in, in particular the, the absentee owners, who uh, might be quite willing to sell, of uh, quite a few thousands of dollars? Anybody who owns a houseboat now and who moved in under the, you know, the uncertainty that presently mm -hmm. exists would get uh, their houseboat would have go would up in value quite a bit if we were to take an action that said, uh, um, you know, that made their mortgage much more care. certain, and they could turn around, sell the houseboat, and there'd be quite a few thousand dollars gained there. Now, that's not the kind I of thing we like to do. No, I, I just don't know what would happen there. Uh, Looking at the prices of houseboats and their acceleration in the past few years, I would think sometime this has got to pop out, but I'm, I don't know where that top out's going to be. But uh, yes, that could be possible. Yeah. But uh, we're concerned. Uh, we are a relatively stable community, uh, about as stable as uh, the, the short side homeowner. And we are concerned about the people who are staying in our community rather than those who, for whatever reason, and most of the people that sell houseboats in my, my uh, is either leaving town or they're just having too many children. And usually that too many sometimes of some houseboats is one. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason for them leaving because so many of them want to come back if they can find a bigger place. But uh, I, I just couldn't answer that question. That's true.